today is a meal that we serve at our home uh, for BLD, I call it, for brunch, lunch, or dinner, it's appropriate. Um, and it's really easy. It's a, a basic, basic, super easy French onion soup. And I serve it with a uh, spinach salad with a ton of bacon bits and crumbled blue cheese on top. So for the um, French onion soup, you need to start out with so many onions, it looks like the pot is just going to explode. I like, um, for every four adults, I like six big onions or like a whole sack, 10 to 12 medium onions, which is what we have here on the counter. Now, normally, if you slice an onion, you want to keep the slices you know, all together and uniform and perfect, you leave the root end on. When it comes to the soup, these are going to cook way down, and I think it's just much easier to cut both ends off the onion, cut the onion in half so that it's flat, boom, like that, and just run your knife through it. I've got a very large Dutch oven getting nice and hot. Now, the trick to this is not to let the pan get super hot. You gotta cook these onions low and slow, about 45 minutes to a light caramel color. So we're gonna fill the pot with a, a shallow layer of butter, three or four tablespoons. We're going to fill the pot, literally fill the pot with the onions. This will cook down, you can't imagine. It'll cook down to about a quarter of the volume. So I literally, it's too hot, I can tell by my ear. I literally fill the pot to pretty much the top. Now, me being me, I can't make anything, including onion soup, without garlic. So. <laughs> I cook down my onions with a lot of garlic. And then for me, I like to throw in a couple of fresh bay leaves. Fresh bay, I think, has a much stronger and more pleasant flavor than dry leaves. They last for weeks in the fridge. They're cheap and cheerful. They have them in every produce department. So I'm gonna throw in a little fresh bay and a little bundle of thyme, or you could sprinkle in some ground thyme or dried thyme. And then salt draws out liquid. So salting the onions will help them sweat or give up their juices much quicker. So we're gonna throw our salt in and then just give this a good stir to try and get the butter distributed. And then stir these occasionally. Again, if they start to brown at the edges, it's too hot, dial your heat back. And this will take a good 45 minutes. So while that's working, we'll work on the elements of our salad. For our salad, we're going to top it with some crispy bacon bits. So we're going to bake some bacon. A lot of people can't find the, the slotted broiler pan that even came with their ovens. You can make one of these by taking a baking sheet and putting a wire rack, what you would cool a cookie or a cake on, inside the baking sheet, and all the fat will drip away, and the same thing will happen. So you put these in 375 to 400 for 15 to 18 minutes until crisp. This is what's going to go on top of our spinach salad. Meanwhile, we're going to take one or two slices of the meaty bacon and finely chop this. This is what's gonna go into the dressing itself. We're gonna make a warm, sweet and savory Dijon bacon dressing to toss our greens in. So you wanna take a little bit of that bacon and just run your knife through it and finely chop it. Over in the pan, I took I took a couple tablespoons or a couple turns of the pan of olive oil for the base of our dressing. I added the very finely minced, meaty, meaty bacon. Our onions are looking beautiful. We'll finish our dressing in a moment, but I want to add in our combo of beef stock. Now, properly to make real French onion soup, you roast the bones, you make your own beef stock, you skim it. I find a great cheat is to buy two cans of beef consomme which is beef with gelatin. So the gelatin is what you'd get from roasting the bones. Two cans of beef consomme on the regular soup aisle, cheap and cheerful. Two cans of that, one can of stock, and that's it. Tastes like you made the most delicious, insane beef stock in the world. And just let that simmer. Over here to our minced bacon, we're gonna add one large or two small shallots, very finely chopped. This is for our salad dressing. 
a little sprinkle of sugar to balance the dressing out. Stir this together. And I've got those shallots pretty finely minced. So you just wanna give it a stir and let the sugar dissolve into the dressing. A little salt and pepper, of course, in our dressing. And then we're gonna whisk in white balsamic or white wine vinegar, your choice. And then I finish this with a couple of fat tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And then we're just going to add the spinach and the mushrooms right down into the skillet to wilt them. So now we need our crouton. Jeanette, did you toast the bread? Yeah. Hey, buddy. So I like extra crispy croutons. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I like extra crispy crouton. So I toast the French bread first, lightly toast it. Um, so it's toasted on both sides. And then I top it with a combo of Gruyere and Swiss. Here, I'll do uh, Gruyere, you do Swiss. Make it go over the sides. You want it to get bubbly and stretchy and crispy around the edges. You wanna overload these. And we're gonna put this on top of the soup. I don't like to put the bread on the soup and then broil it gets too mushy. You know, the bottom is just sogged out before you ever serve it. So we're gonna broil these. Okay, so here's our spinach salad. I added some thinly sliced uh, green onions, some spring onions, you could use scallions. And we've got our just barely slumped spinach, our shaved mushrooms, and our dressing of white balsamic vinegar, Dijon, minced bacon, and shallot. And then we're going to top that salad with what's left of the bacon bits that I didn't eat. Um, Oscar's Smokehouse in Warrensburg, New York, they ship if you want to try this. This is smoked blue cheese, which I've crumbled. It's amazing. Amazing. And then our sweet, delicious French onion soup. Mmm. And then we need our crouton, right? So now the reason I do the, the crouton on the side and not broil the bowl is so the bowl isn't like insanely wildly hot if somebody touches the side, but more so, so that the croutons can be extra crispy and gooey when they go up on top. They're not like mush. Here you go, baby. Yeah. Yeah.